so what's up everybody i know it's been a minute since you've seen the two of us on a video but we've got something super awesome for you today we're back we got a little unboxing we got an unboxing uh thank you to mjjc for sending us this unit it's their new uh v2 foamer uh they sent it to us free of charge uh and uh for us to review and so that's kind of awesome uh but this review is our own words and thoughts and not paid for you know they just sent it to us with the understanding that we're going to review this and be as honest as possible about it and they contacted him not me <laughs> so i didn't get one of these he got one so and same thing guys, same thing send me don't worry about him <laughs> just me so we're gonna get on to it because i know you guys wanted to see this and it's also been a minute all right guys so here we are and i've got mark he's going to do this is a blind unboxing um i've only looked online to see what it looks like and i have no clue what it looks like i have nothing i didn't want to be surprised i don't know how long has this been out for um it's been out for a few months now okay um uh, there's a few reviews on YouTube. Uh, I've kind of stayed away from them so that way I can have my own judgment on this. And uh, yeah, let's see what we've got in this beautiful box. So I believe that they went ahead and they've sent us, it's the foamer, the foam cannon, and their foam solution oh, right. and their soap. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. All right. They're actually packaged really good. Oh, that's awesome. I wasn't expecting. Oh, wow foam in a foam cannon box and they're individually wrapped oh very nice Which one do you want to see first Joe? all right uh let's go ahead i like the big boxes your christmas morning kind of guy I yes like that. all right oh so here we go see some nice stuff here Ooh, look at this packaging oh i was mistaken it's their v3.0 so it's the MJJC Foam Cannon S version 3.0. Now, didn't their stuff used to be red and black and white? Yes, they had, uh, I believe, the V2 before this one that okay. you see in a few videos. Not our videos, but some other videos. It's a, like, mason jar size, like, bottle that's in, okay. like, a opaque with red, black, and some other color. Am I opening? I'm opening this wrong. Am I not? Yeah, I think you, you maybe. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. You can't take me anywhere. Yeah, uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, clamshell. Look at that. Look at this. How nice. This is actually very, very nice, nice packaging. Oh, look at that little that beaker looking type bottle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Measurements on the back. I like this. This looks a little different, like not threaded. Yes, boxing. actually. So one of the things with this is if you see, it has uh, O-rings rings, on it. Yeah. And this is like a push in adapter. It's not threaded. Okay. So, so this is a little different to so gonna what you're normally going to find. Spring loaded or something in here? Or not? I don't believe it's spring no. loaded, no, it's but the way it's keyed in, it's like a push <laughs> fit. You go ahead and twist. Oh, wow. And lock in place. That's it. That's it. That's that's actually a lot nicer than wow it's very tight i guess the o-rings two o-rings mm -hmm. keep it tight Let's see if it stands by itself it oh, does yeah. and it's still not balanced with the this part this end and oh like i'm gonna that. have to get a screwdriver because i believe what's installed in here is a 1.25 orifice okay. and in that bag i believe it's the 1.1 1 .1. and you know that's like one of the first things we always do is swapping that 1.1 1. 1. <laughs> you see I like that that's the fill tube so this is the awesome flexible. part super so flexible. you've got that weighted ball like they had in their previous one that has a little filter in there i don't know if you can quite get that and this is a very nice flexible silicone hose so when it's in there and you're turning it with that weighted ball that's really going to get all of your soap from all the nooks and crannies of your bottle all right well this is you're going to want to see this you're going to play with that in a minute but all right one second right. let's get that screwdriver so we can swap out this orifice. all right guys and we're back i went ahead and got a flathead so we can go ahead and switch out this orifice Ooh, ooh. Everyone's seen this done, right? A thousand times? A thousand times. Well, I guess if you have ever 
have one of these maybe or seen a video on it but mark so tell me drop this one. your initial impressions of manhandling well I was, I was literally just telling you off camera how well this is constructed um i've never used anything of theirs of mjjc's um super solid everything just the way it turns everything about like smooth smooth putting this on was crazy felt super super smooth tight firm like just what you expect i don't know what what these are going for price wise but just what you want for like a high like a high end something that you could use at a shop this would be the test of time um seems super stiff yeah, you can get a little flex right there but it's actually hard to squeeze i like this will be this this would be the only thing for me to ever be like oh this would be the first thing to go but again you could probably replace them but just feeling it it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere and it has a weird shape to it here it looks like it gives you a nice little grip it's a little real, extra purchase yeah, yeah real good like if you need to yeah. twist that off of there if your hands are soapy and i wonder if that's why they made this like how they did because a you grab it but you know on a lot of the other ones it's hard to grab yes um, especially when your hands are soapy up. yeah when you're soaped up i don't know if this will be the same when your hands are soapy but with my hand super grippy and i like this is not a huge one but this is a good size filler right, let's go ahead let's get the rest this, of the pieces on there put this together Just listening to it, it's that's very nice machine yeah, right everything. there. Everything went on. All this is brass. This looks like it's stainless. Let's get that on there. I hope this thing foams good because <laughs> <laughs> just feeling it might be new champ, new champ in the street. So that's basically it. I'm not gonna put it back together yet because we're gonna put some open it all right now we're gonna open up the next package we got sent this should be the soap all right this should be their foaming shampoo let's see what their pack let's see what the box looks like i didn't even know they had soap no. everything was packaged so well yeah, like tight. i'm really happy with the packaging that they sent us with this You going ham? Flame JJC phone. Look at this. So MJJC foam, snow foam shampoo, super soft, refreshing aroma, pH neutral, and contains crude palm oil. Okay. And look, it even has a picture of you on the side, Joe. Oh. Is that, that's the same skirt you have, isn't it? No, 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 no. That's not you? No, 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 no. no. Oh. Mine's is yellow, not blue. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yeah, let's give it a, let's give it the old, another one again. I'm, I don't know how to open boxes, apparently. Uh, they have some really nice packaging. It's very nice packaging. All right, we got to give it the obligatory sniff test. All right. Before we do that, remember I was telling you earlier, again, off camera, I said I like my car products the color to be blue this is the color blue i was talking that's about. blue you like you like that yeah. light blue you don't like that darkish I'm, blue I'm, I'm partial to this color blue what is on here is a cap on here too it's probably a little piece of plastic let me shake it a little bit let's see mm. Might have... there it is okay got it you got it you got it all right Let's give it the old sniff. Let's see. Mm. It's not a bad scent, but um, it's got a slight chemical smell to it. But yeah, I was expecting, uh, you smells, know, coconutty because yeah, I mean they're showing palms and it smells a little uh, fruity mixed with like a slight. I don't know, like a slight chemical smell okay nothing crazy well now we got this let's get this foamer set up and let's see what kind of foam we get out of this all right so here we are we're back we're about to now fill it up and we were looking at the back of the bottle to see what the dilution ratio is and it's 100 mils to milliliters to uh 900 of water so basically we're going to put it up to the first line and then fill the rest up with water all right looks like a nine to one dilution ratio then 
What do you think about that dilution ratio? I, I know think you like to go heavy. I do like going heavy. Uh, yeah, I think you need a little bit more there. But I mean, they formulated the, they formulated their stuff. So actually, that looks yeah, good. Like yeah, you're at 100 ml there. So, so we'll see what this is. What they want? If this was Joey, I would have probably it. filled it up to like yeah, probably there. right here. You'd use half this bottle. Yeah. But right. I'm, I'm cheap, so I wouldn't do that. <laughs> All right, so let's All go right, ahead. Let's put some water in here and call it. Let's see. All right, so we're back. And oh, sorry about that. That's the car. So we've got it, everything loaded up. Um, now, what do you think is going to happen? I think this is super clear. So the dilution, like we're not normally used to seeing through the bottle perfectly clear, right? Yes, but also we tend to use opaque bottles on top of that. So, I mean, I personally don't know how foamy this is going to be. And MJJC, don't take this the wrong way. I'm sure you formulated it the way you did and you have your dilution ratio, but I don't know... How much foam we're gonna get from this i mean the whole reason we do the foam is so that way we can encapsulate the dirt that's on the surface but also give us lubricity when we're going over the car so that way you know we're not adding in any extra scratches and mars so let's see i mean hey they could have formulated this and we're gonna get a ton of foam and we'll have an egg on our face hopefully all right and uh before we continue they wanted you to spray down the car first we're not going to do that today, just for the sake of time, and it's hot outside. And honestly, I mean, you've got two schools of thought here. Some people will spray down the car first, and if you do that, there's a possibility of the water on the vehicle diluting what the foam that you're already spraying on there. You know, so you've got some people that will spray ahead of time and some people that won't. I mean, it really comes down to each person, uh, each um, detailer's, you know... The, car, the way they work the car isn't uh, it's like slightly warm it's not hot because it's been in the shade itself for probably about 45 minutes all right let's let her rip oh might need to turn on the pressure washer all right now we're back i think we have well, egg on our face well, what were you saying earlier i think we like, may have egg on our face like i blamed it on you uh-huh but did you, first of all, I just want to talk about the spray pattern. Did you see how massive? I did, but I mean, once we get everything dialed in, <clears throat> how's your adjustment on the top of there? It was already cranked all the way to full foam. Okay, good. So, but I just wanted to say, I really like that uh, pattern. We're going to go back a little bit. I believe this also does dual pattern. So you can get vertical and horizontal. You can. Oh. It's, this just All blew right. his mind. He, right. he loves when you can change. <laughs> I do. This is nuts. All right, here we go. Back. So, this is going to be good for doing a full. Look at that. I can almost get this full vehicle with just a pack. Wow. And it's coming out thick. Actually, the smell isn't too bad. It's it a little. better now, right? Yeah, it's still a little chemically, but. You know, this foam is actually rather thick and it's pretty good. I'm um, hit the floor, show the floor what's coming off. Looking like. Yeah, that looks like shaving cream, whipped cream coming off the floor. I'm not gonna say it's the most slick, it's not super slick. No, it doesn't feel no, I'd agree with that. It feels almost like water, you foamed up with water, but. It's, it's still pulling down whatever's going to be on the paint. Right? I mean, the whole point of foaming is to encapsulate and draw down, which that in itself is You know what this is smell? Doing. I need to foam this bad boy. I'm going to adjust this again. So that's about the fan pattern I normally would use. Look at this foam. I will definitely say I have egg on my face yeah, over like this I, one. I got thick. Not thinking. MJJC, you have formulated it the way you needed to formulate it. Because, um, yeah, with that dilution ratio, we're seeing this kind of foam. And look how it's, and it's not just sheeting off in one pattern. Like, it's literally dragging the whole thing and staying in one 
block, right? Sometimes you'll see them break up like this and it'll have like different lines falling. This is like dragging, dragging. Yeah, this is all thing. pretty uniform. That's pretty cool. It's a little different, right? It's different than anything we've used. Yeah, you know one of my favorites and then one of your favorites. They're both different compared to each other and this one's different compared to those. Yeah, but I'm really liking this. So they're foam. I'm I'm gonna give them a, a thumbs up on the foam. Yeah, so for, for the foam, foaming aspect, yes. Cleaning, we don't know yet, but we're gonna get to that. Let me keep doing this side of the car. And then when we go to the other side, I wanna foam it a little different. I wanna do it how I would normally foam the car. Okay. Bring that quicker, pass back. So let's see. All right. Again, I'm going a little slow so you can see how fast it's building up. But. Okay guys, so we went ahead and a little off camera just because I like doing funny off camera things. I used some of the Chemical Guys Blueberry Snow Foam in the MJJC Cannon and yeah, it foamed well, but it didn't foam as well as MJJC's foam. Like, I, I'll give this to them. Whatever formulation they have happening here, they're producing copious amounts of foam. What does copious mean? Lots. Lots and lots. <laughs> Thank you. So, for more shits and giggles, I decided to break out my current daily go-to foam cannon, which is the MTM PF 2.2, or 22. And um, we're going to load in some of the MJJC foam at the same dilution ratio that they recommend for their cannon, which I mean is probably just their general recommendation, just because we want to see, you know, what happens. We just, like, we just like seeing lots of foam. We like seeing foam on a car. And we were talking off camera <laughs> on what you want in a, a foam cannon and what would be how do you justify the price? And we were talking about this one being stainless steel up here and stuff like that. And to me personally, if I were to get five to six years out of any foam cannon, uh, the, whatever this is, $85 or something around that price that these are, I'm good with five years at that price. And I don't know what these are going for. Yeah, those, I mean, that's the thing. The prices fluctuate. So whenever you watch this video, I mean, it could be that, you know, it's in the $80 range because it's newer, you know, 80 close to 90 or even maybe cheaper. You might find that I'm in like an Amazon Prime sale and, you know, you might get it more inexpensive, just like the MTM one. You might find that one. I mean, that's the thing. Prices fluctuate. So, but real, I mean, I would put them both. If, if you were going to ask me right out of the gate, I would honestly, I would pick this one. Uh, the foam is crazy. The f spread pattern is outrageous. I love that. And the... Uh, the, how that twists off super simple right and that's it you're done so no messing around with trying to twist it and it ha comes with the weighted one like the uh, griots garage so now when you're foaming the car that falls down it falls this way whatever way you're getting underneath you're trying to foam from a different angle you're going to be picking up to the last drop is done so this one isn't bad with that either because it's a it's like a limp noodle in there but this is going to be better with that spread pattern is better and the fill mouth is better and the quick the quicker connect is better so yeah i do like that little quarter turn and i thought this was going to be more tippy it's not it's so, actually not very top heavy yeah. so i don't know what kind of voodoo they did to get that thing not to fall over it's got a nice base similar to the honestly i'm in a 
if I hadn't already had this, if this wasn't already gifted to me, I think it was a Father's Day gift. Um, I... Who, who gifted this to you? Was it your fam? Shout yeah. out to your fam. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, do, I do have to agree with quite a few things that Mark is saying when it comes to this foam cannon. I mean, quality-wise, it has a good hand feel. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm picking up a cheap $20 right. Walmart yeah. foam cannon. The thing for me, too, like, that, that's what I said before, the test of time will be this kind of bottle, to me, doesn't look as good, right? But I guarantee it's got to be stronger because whenever you see stuff like this, they always dry rot this kind of bottle and will crack. But, again, I don't know what kind they used. I don't know anything about it. I like how you can see through it. But this normally is a stronger plastic in everyday difference like so something like this you drop one of these bottles it, they can crack right these bottles are more likely to bounce so this and this could be the same kind but this is way flexier so i don't know it might be a different gauge plastic all right well you know what let's see some beautiful foam all right which one do you want to see you want to see this yeah yeah let's see the mtm with mjjc's Magic foam, MJJC, I'm gonna call it magic, magic foam. All right, this is take two now. Take two, foam. let's do it. So that's about two and a half to three feet away from the car. To be honest, it doesn't look like it's foaming as good. I don't know if that's just me, but before the speed I was going, it was piling, piling up. Let's do it right here. All right, so we got it piling up now. Yeah. So I got a little bit closer, maybe a half a foot closer. So we're about two feet. Uh, the other one looked like it was piling a little better and we weren't getting it breaking up like this. So I don't know well, we why. We were also dry the first time. We've already That's wiped true. this down. That's true. So, you know, we'll go with the it sliding down just because we've already, you know, rinsed the car down a few times in testing the, the other soaps. So Not like this is bad no. by any means. No, this is I mean, awesome. But look at the way it's gripping. Just to point out what we're seeing, because you guys might not be able to see what we're seeing through the lens. So I figured we'd let you know. And let's see if it comes out of a different cannon if it feels slicker. Shit, it. That's about the same as it did before. the new MJJC foam cannon and their uh, liquid soap. I want to spray this car down because it's a little dirtier than the car you saw earlier. And we're going to see what puddles up down here, if it pulls anything off. And that's what I want to see. So let's give it a quick shot. That's all we're going to use and we're going to let that just pull down and drip and see if it pulls off any dirt because a lot of times that's how you know this stuff is going to work is if it's pulling off dirt and you see it in the foam. Back with this, we're back. So this, uh, the soap they sent us, we were testing, yeah, come down here Joe, where usually you can see in the piles of foam, you'll see dirt that's been pulled off. So this stuff foams crazy but it doesn't seem to be breaking too much down. We just did a little test and you can still see it's dirty. Come over here on the hood where you can see where I didn't do anything. I'll do the same. Let me see my fingers clean. And that's dirty. So uh, in conclusion, I guess this stuff isn't pulling the dirt off like other soaps sometimes would. Um, a lot of times we'll use chemical guys that'll work. Zymol will work. Um, other brands will pull it off 
better. Um, but we're going to test uh, just using this with the mitt on a stick and seeing how much we can get off of them and then I'll come back and do the same uh, white glove test. <laughs> All right guys, we just finished uh, soaping it up and then we used the, uh, what do you call that, uh, mitt. We used the mitt on a stick and I wanted to see, again, clean finger. Let's see, looks good. Let's go to the neck, clean finger. Looks good, so I think we just needed some agitation. We're gonna do the hood as well, clean fingers. So I think it just needed some agitation. Uh, I was telling Joe when I put it on, um, it felt slicker than when we just rubbed our hands across it. So using the mitt on a stick, uh, obviously is gonna make it suds up more and then slide across easier. But it definitely, again, cleaned. So I would use this to clean. Uh, we were kind of skeptical at first because it wasn't pulling anything off. So I don't know why it wasn't pulling, but once you agitate it, it was the lubricity was there, so I'm happy with that. Um, and again, it took off, took off the dirt, so everything. Seemed... Okay, guys, so we're back, and yeah, we look a little tired. The I'm heat. worse for the wear. This is a full yeah. day's work, and then we came and shot this well, video. I, I work too, just so you know. Yeah, I, no. I work too. Listen, no one's taking that again. So you, anyway, you work in the AC? Yeah, yeah. So do anyway. I. So. We went ahead and we gave our thoughts on the MNJJC foam cannon. I guess these are our final thoughts here. Final thoughts. Um, I really like this thing. I think it's really well made. Um, uh, it has parts that I really like. I really enjoy this quarter turn thread that they're doing here. Um, this nozzle, it's super easy to move. You've got the two directions. Uh, the brass that they use for this is really nice. The knob feels good. You can see the little metal ball with the filter on the fill tube. I mean, I think they did a really good job with this. And yes, they did send it to us. You know, uh, these are my thoughts. Um, I really like this. I think this is a pretty good uh, piece of kit here, and quite honestly, um, I would buy it. You're such a shill. No, I mean, but seriously, I already have my this. PF, but, Unless you know, I would buy it. I would buy it. All right. I'm not like him. I'm not bought and paid for. Yes, he is. Totally. He wants one. All right. I do want one. MJCC. We never decided who gets this when we're done. Oh, that just stays, don't worry about that. Stays, okay, it stays with you. So he's getting one. I'm personally not going to buy one right now. But if anything ever happens to the two that I have, three, I have, all right, I have the Griot's Garage. I have two of them. I love those. The problem with those is they're, it's aluminum, the frame. And whatever they powder coated with or whatever it is, breaks loose and goes in and clogs up the filter and has a problem. So every few months, I got to clean that out which is a pain in the butt. This isn't gonna happen to it. So it's another plus in my book. And one of the things I'm mainly uh, impressed with is that it stays upright. Like it doesn't fall left or right, empty or full, which is awesome. One of the best features, again, with the quarter turn, like he was saying, one and done, you're in there. So this thing is a very big winner in my book. Out of all the ones I have, I would still pick this one. So. I'm the same, same as him. I'd buy this over any of the other ones. Uh, the price on the Griots was a lot cheaper uh, than this one would be, and uh, and I got them on sale. I think I paid like $60, I think, or I mean, $50. Thinking of around where you're gonna find this online, I wanna say it's like in the mid $80 range. So, you know, it's, actually, I think it's cheaper than like the Griots. I think it's cheaper than the Chemical Guys one. I think the, the Chemical Guys the, was like 100 bucks. The stainless, the stainless Griots is expensive. So that one's like all stainless parts. Uh, that one's like a hundred dollars, I think. Yeah. Uh, the cheaper one that I have, that was aluminum, mm -hmm. was like I said, I think it was like sixty-five dollars new, and I got it new, but I got it on sale for like forty years. And this I one is, remember, I honest. think, pricing-wise, it's on par with the MTMPF twenty-two. So 
Yeah, so if you like and foam, I'm, this is it. Now, the whole, if you like foam, if you like foam, their foam soap, I do like. I like that it foams a lot. Uh, it cleaned the Prelude pretty well. I would say, yeah, once, once you agitated it, it cleaned, which is to be expected. Um, um, the car actually on the hood, just so you guys know, had a uh, ceramic from Phoenix EOD. Phoenix EOD, and it's about nine months ago. I believe it's I called on. Immortal. Immortal, it is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I put that on about nine months ago. The rest of the car we were testing, uh, it had griots, but that griots should be long gone. That was probably about a year ago. They could improve the scent a little bit on this. I mean, it is a little chemical. Let me get, let me get another, another. I really was hoping that it was going to be like, since I saw the pineapple, the palm, I was kind of hoping some coconut maybe, but. It's got some kind of nut on there. I don't know. I don't know what, where are we at right there? What, what kind of nut is that, guys? But uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty good. Yeah. But uh, it foams. It's, it's not overpowering either, the smell. But it foams. And it in this Canon, it foams. Foams. Yeah, we tried it in a few other cannons. Uh, the foam wasn't as good as this. No, in this cannon, it foams. Copious amounts of foam. So, uh, what, is, what does that mean again? Anyway, so <laughs> our, thoughts. our final thoughts are that this Win. is actually a good product. Winning, yeah. Um, if you don't have a ton of money to spend, I'm not going to say 80 something dollars is a lot of money it's not a little bit but it's also not a lot of money compared to like the chemical guys one that i think is 100 bucks plus yeah i think it's 100 plus yes. yeah um this is actually a pretty good deal right here um yeah uh i'm happy with it i think mjjc has a good product here and i think they're gonna sell a lot of them i hope they do i mean it's a good product so you see their uh the little etching yeah they the etch, they etch that part yeah, you guys, check out the video, whatever you guys think. Yeah, make, man. Make your choice. Don't listen to this show. This is all because of you guys. So please like, subscribe. I'm not trying to beg here, but subscribe. I mean, our videos, our videos are actually doing really well, but we so need really decent. subscribers. Please, <laughs> really decent. please sub. The more you sub, the more time that we will put into bringing you even better videos than we have i mean but sub please like the videos are doing great and we thank you so much your interaction we're getting so awesome we try to answer almost all the comments we get on the videos i'm on there on my phone he and does. i don't care <laughs> he'll answer you if anyone answers you and it's nasty and stuff that's probably me if anyone, but, if anyone you get something nice that's probably him i don't care about your comments but guys Thank you so much for all the views. Thank you so much, you know, for taking your time out. But please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button so that you can get the videos because more videos will be coming out because we're going to do some more videos with this. We might actually do a head-to-head -head comparo between this, the Griots, right. and the PF22 from MTM. We'll, we'll think right. about that one and maybe we'll do another video where we'll put our absolute favorite favorite soaps through here to see what kind of foam we can get out of those soaps that's true yeah. that my, might be my some fun my favorite uh, soap doesn't foam well in cannons so we'll see and i have we'll a few soaps that i really enjoy foaming with so you know that might be another video coming at you but subscribe so you and hit the notification bell all right good night guys i'm gonna do it for you guys good night guys all right, all right. there Ding. thanks a lot